Well, this is how I started out. I took a piece of uh, 1 8 inch Baltic plywood and covered it with painter's tape. And this seems to keep a lot of the, the burning on the surface to a minimum when you're running the, the laser. This is the program. It's basically an XPS file that I developed using Word. You can see it's pretty crude. Uh, my artistic abilities were pretty sad. Uh, matter of fact, at the time I drew this, I drew it in Word, I was thinking that it would be a ghost. And after I got through doing it, I figured, well, this could either be a ghost or a ghoul or a goblin or maybe even a skull. So I just went ahead and cut it out because I knew that my wife was going to come along and using her creativity, she would make something out of it. And so I let the laser do its job and basically cut this out. Uh, it had to run it through several passes to cut all the way through the one eighth inch plywood, but it uh, did a pretty good job. Matter of fact, it did such a good job that when I took the tape off and started to disassemble the puzzle, it was really tight. Uh, the laser had cut such a very close cut in the outlines of the pieces, and I guess a little bit with possibly the swelling of the wood with the heat. Uh, the, the pieces were pretty tight, so I popped them out and sanded around the edges of them and loosened them up just enough that it would be easy to, to handle them. Uh, in making the puzzle, I, in the, using the Word document, I basically picked some shapes out, like a star and a heart, and kind of embedded those in there just to do something different. Uh, but again, it was pretty crude. I still want to learn how to draw something in a program like uh, Inkscape where I can do a, a normal puzzle pattern, interlocking pieces. Uh, if, if you saw our previous Halloween video that we did, or, or build that we did, the, the laser jack, which basically was a jack-o'-lantern that we made a puzzle out of and, and my wife painted it. Um, that worked fairly well, but again, the pieces were not interlocking, and I really like to get to the point of doing this, so this is our second annual Halloween puzzle, uh, which is going to turn out to be something, and we've already had a preview of kind of what it looks like, but at this point in the making of this, I have no idea what my wife is going to do with it. My wife has a, is really, a, I think, very creative in terms of her uh, drawing. And when she got this puzzle, I don't know how she could look at it and figure out what she was going to do, but she did. And it really kind of worried me a little bit because I could see what was going on in her mind here. And knowing that she had worked previously for the uh, property uh, appraiser tax collector office, uh, I knew she'd been around a lot of ghouls, but I didn't think that's what this was going to end up being. But she did a beautiful job of turning this mishmash of puzzle pieces into something that was a little more recognizable. And here you can see the final cut, and it doesn't look like much of anything. I then took the tape off, gave it a primer coat of white paint uh, to give my wife a palette to work with. And here she is with this rapid painting process that she goes through every time we seem to need something painted. And, and all this is coming out of her head, which is a little bit scary to me, but uh, it ended up being a beautiful puzzle of a ghoul. And uh, I was really pleased with it because I really didn't see how we were going to get anything out of this puzzle that was going to be recognizable.